And then after that internship, I know you're your own boss now. You're an entrepreneur. What are you doing now? Yeah, so I have a lot going on. Um, I'm still in like a very exploratory phase. Um, it's basically what I call like artpreneur because um, I'm an artist and an entrepreneur. I like the business aspect, but also I really am an artist. Um, and that's where I want to make that combination. Um, I have a business that is primarily clients from the States. I don't know if you've ever been to a paint your own pottery studio. Like color me mine. Okay, you go in and you paint, like you pick out a mug or something, you paint it and they like put it in the fire and then you get it back and it's like yours. I wish I had, I think I maybe have something here. Um, But I sell digital content to these business owners. So it's business to business um, Mm. each month. So I have a subscription with these businesses. I create like a new project idea for them to use in their studios and for their customers to come in and see something and say, wow, I want to paint that. And then they already have a video tutorial and a guide on how to do it. Um, Super, super specific. It was because I was freelancing for someone here and it was working really well for her business. So I decided to make it bigger. Um, So that's the business that I run, but I'm also a tattoo artist. I'm also about to start a podcast for artists. Um, A lot of different things. What else am I doing? I don't know, really anything I can get my hands on, like social media, management, strategy, murals. I do it all. (laughs) I respect that. For me, it's I'm kind of in an exploratory phase as well. So I'm curious about your opinion. I personally, like I do a lot of real estate stuff, social media, fitness. um, But I feel like I get drawn too many different ways at times. And that leads to stress. Mm, For sure. So would you say that the artpreneur is like your main thing? Yeah, I mean, I feel like that entrepreneur is the umbrella for all of these things because they're all creative and they're all like business oriented. Um, And it's taken me a really long time to settle into the fact that I don't necessarily have like, this is what I do when someone asks me, like, what do you do for a living? Um, Because I have like a portfolio career, which means like I do a lot of different things that add up to be my career. Um, not necessarily like I can't say I do this one role um and sometimes even now I'm like I have so much going on everyone has like a job I don't know what I'm doing still I need to figure it out but it's like I'm also doing a ton of different things that I'm passionate about meeting people along the way that I know are definitely really important for this journey um and just in general like I'm enjoying myself while I figure it out so that's that's really what matters for me (laughs) That's a beautiful thing because I've always had the mindset of I need to figure it out before I can be happy. But the fact that it's like flipped, you need to enjoy the process. It's something that's tough to swallow. And I think that's where like spirituality takes a a big part in this kind of mindset is the fact that you literally might not know until you're 35 that, and that's a totally legitimate thing to happen people it happens all the time you could be 50 and still not know exactly what you love to do Um, but you have to try different things and definitely that whole thing what you said about like the whole once I'm once I get there I'll be happy like you're never going to get there so you'll never be happy Um, so the fact that you already know to flip it is (laughs) is huge yeah it, it can still be difficult to maintain that for sure but yes. I'm curious. Yeah. 